Well, hi there, and welcome to another family fun sing-along and story time with Powell River United Church. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you'll sing along with me. The first song that we're going to do today is called The Corner Master Store, and it's kind of a um, story about someone not having their specs, the song says. I do not have my specs with me. That's another word for glasses. Some people call glasses their specs, the short for spectacles. So my eyes are dim, I cannot see, I have not brought my specs with me. And then we um, just imagine all these funny things that the person thinks they're seeing when their vision is not very good without their glasses. So we put in all these fun uh, rhymes into this song about goofy things. Okay, let's try it. My eyes are dim, I cannot see, I have not brought my specs with me, I have not brought my specs with me. and hairy knees in the store, in the store. There were fleas, fleas, with kilts and hairy knees in the corner master store. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. kind of a fun song, isn't it? And when you're singing that another time, you know, at home with your family or whatever, everybody can take a turn thinking up a different rhyme. That can make it kind of fun. The other day I was looking out my window and I saw some little, little yellow birds in my plum tree outside. And that made me think about the song called Yellow Bird. And I thought, I haven't sung that song for a long time. So I thought maybe this would be a fun one for us to do together. Yellow Bird, okay? Yellow Bird high up in the banana tree. <laughs> Makes me feel so bad. You can fly away in the sky away. 
our yellow bird. Okay, now we're going to try a song called Give Me Oil in My Lamp. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. And we're going to also sing Make Me Fishers of Friends, Keep Me Searching. Give me joy in my song, keep me praising. Give me peace in my life, keep me resting. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Okay. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning till the break of day. for singing with me. That was great. Now I'd like to share a book with you. This is called How Do You Say Peace? Now that's, um, something interesting about this book is, well today that I'm recording today is um, September the 22nd, the first day of fall. But yesterday, 
I was looking for a book to share and I came across this one. So yesterday was September the 21st and I didn't know that the United Nations has declared September 21st the International Day of Peace. So I'm a day late and you might be watching this on days after September 21st, but I thought it might be nice to think about peace at this time um, when it's International Day of Peace. I think we can think about peace all week at this week of September, this beginning of our new season, fall season. So this book was made by a woman named Karen Katz. And I'm thinking she must have done the words and the photos, the illustrations, because um, there's only one name on the book. Karen Katz. How do you say peace? And this book is dedicated to all the children around the world who are the peacemakers of the future, it says here. Today is Peace Day all around the world. Children everywhere will wish for peace, hope for peace, and ask for peace. All around the world today, there will be many different ways to say peace. Mina lives in India. Mina says Shanti. Emily lives in America. Emily says Kenji lives in Japan. Kenji says, Hey wa. Lynette lives in Australia. Lynette says, Kurtuku. Kurtuku. Carlos lives in Mexico. Carlos says, Paz. Hannah lives in Iran. Hannah says, Seoul. Stefan lives in Russia. Stefan says, Mir. May lives in China. May says, Hey Ping. Claire lives in France. Claire says, pay. Sadiki lives in Ghana. Sadiki says, gumjiji. Alona lives in Bolivia. Alona says, Mo kasa ka minia. All around the world, children want to go to school, to walk in their towns and cities, to play outside, and to share food 
with their families. They want to do all these things and feel safe. No matter how we say it, we all want peace. Can you say peace? Okay. All around the world, people observe a day of peace and nonviolence on September 21st, the International Day of Peace. They may conduct ceremonies honoring peace, participate in community projects, or take a moment to silently wish for peace for everyone. On this day, people everywhere can find their own way to celebrate peace. And I think peace is something definitely that God wants for us, for all of us here, for all the world. Let's just do a little bit of um, peace is flowing like a river, just for a couple minutes. Thank you very much for singing with me and thank you for listening to the story about peace and I hope that you're enjoying lots of peace and love in your family and with your friends and I hope you'll join me again sometime. We'll do some more singing of some different songs and hear a different story next time. Bye for now.